Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Legeal. So, I was promoted to Major last time around, and that means that I'm in charge of more men than before. So now I've got a 173, which we can see in its entirety right here, and they split into two groups. We've got the center company right here, which I've uh, put uh, Artemy in charge of. You can see him over there and uh, then we've got the light company which I've put uh, Duco in charge of and then we still have that Yorkshire lad somewhere there he is oh, he's the only one he still keeps his musket on his back right anyways um, we want to keep going through the ranks, so we're going to go to France and see if we can get these boys some action. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Artemir, I want the regiment on the march immediately. Yes, sir. So, on our way to France, we obviously have to cross the channel, and it just so happened that August Mamon and his small fleet, and when I say small fleet, I will mean very small fleet, is there to stop us. So, we'll have to board him and, uh, yeah, stop him, uh, or, or, well, stop him, stop him from stopping us from landing in France. Who the hell are you? They know me as Charles Edrington. I am Charles Edrington, sir. I am August Mamon, a vassal of the the Empire of France and the Lord of Calais. Your fame runs before you, Charles Edrington. Louis Gabriel Suget may have fallen for your tricks, but if you fight me, you'll uh, find me a much slippery cot. Right, end of this discussion. I say this one, surrender your ships, or prepare to be boarded. You impudent whelp! I'll crush you! We'll see who crushes who! Close to boarding! Holy crap! A load of sailors fall immediately! Charge across them! Charge across! Maybe we don't even need that because uh, we're able to uh, l lay down some fairy of firepower. Out of my way! Let my men cross. Oh, I shot right in them, in between them. Get across, men, and bore these bastards. Come on, you French dogs. For England and for the prize, claim this ship. Let's see if I can maybe kick someone off board. Ah, oh, that kind of fancy, fancy thingamajiggies might get me killed. Off you go. Come up here. Keep firing, men. Have we cleared it out? We are victorious! Way For England! And for the prize! Way But as it is with the, the load of bandits! Enemy casualties, bandits, grenadier. But as we can see, uh, n not a lot of actual troops, even though we took out 55 of them. Um, he's still gonna have 21 men left. And that's because how the way those battles are done, which are kind of strange. So we're gonna have to do this quite a few times more before we're actually able to, uh, to take him down. But I think, without wasting too much time, we can go ahead and fight him once more. And then I can do the rest off camera because it's it gets quite repetitive when you have to board for the like fourth or fifth time. 
Surrender and die. Close to boarding. Charge across, men. Oh, I missed. And it's really hard to tell who's who here. Who's French and who's not. Ah! Oh, crap. Out of my way. Or maybe I could kick you off board. Oh. Well, off he went, anyways. It would be nice to have something to sort of distinguish the different sailors from each other. I don't think the French would look... They would have something to distinguish themselves, maybe. Or I don't know. Sailors probably looked quite the same. Anyways, for England and for the prize. And we've taken this ship as our prize and we can bring it back to England. But our main objective is to bring my regiment across so that we can fight in France. So we managed to take out quite a few, but I believe, yeah, they still have 11. So it keeps going down by half, which next time after I win this, there's five. And then I think five is the last one. So there's a, this, you know, they could t drag on for quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And then we'll uh, hopefully get in some, some better battles in France, gain rank and so on. And I can get up to the level in which he would be able to recruit multiple regiments to get Scots, to get cavalry and stuff like that, which people want to see. And uh, once we get to a certain level, we should be able to start sieging places. And... Uh, yeah, then uh, I think France will fall quite quickly. Anyways, let me go ahead and do that. The army has landed in France as we clear the way through the French Navy and now I'm sent ahead to scout for Frenchies. I've not be actually been given a specific target it's uh, more that they, I don't know, forgot to invite me to um, this campaign. So I'm going to find my own targets. We got a French patrol. That's very small for us to take care of. Would be nice if I could find a French caravan. Okay, we got something here. Marshal Ney. With 63 men. What's up with all the French armies having no men whatsoever? We got um, Colbert. With only 42. Let's actually go ahead and scout the town. And see what's in here. Um, none of the party has a lot. 48, 63, 42. We need to find s some army here in France that can actually fight us. And the thing is, I'm we're not currently at war with anyone of the French ally. Um, allied forces. So, um... It's not like I could go ahead and invade the uh, the Netherlands or any other place. Okay, here we got something. A force to be reckoned with. They're about they're a little bit bigger than us by about 50 men, give or take. Um, let's see what they have. They have some dragoons, carabiner. Da da da. Not a lot of cavalry, so this could be doable, and it would give us... There's a lot of different armies running about here. 
Who the hell are you? Why, what's up with all the French saying that? I am Charles Edrington. Aha! Well, if you can't fall for... If you think you won't be falling for my tricks, let's test it out on the field of battle, shall we? Okay, so it's this map. And... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let's go ahead and set up the musketeers. We'll form to my left. The light fusiliers will form to my right. And then musketeers. Fire orders make ready to present. Light fusiliers make ready to present. We can see the uh, the enemy force. They're lining up. I will go ahead and scout a bit. Okay, I, I think I've sent the men way, way off target here. The line infantry needs to come a bit closer. Okay, here are the Frenchies. Holy oh. sh crap! Every single one of them fired upon me. And that's causing them to attack. Holy crap. Um, the light infantry will fire at will. And then we will give volley fire with the line infantry. Holy crap. Cannibal. Line infantry. Make ready. Present. Fire. I've, I just gave the order just as they moved. Infantry, fire at will. Oh, that's one of the downsides to playing 1.3. Um, he's got an armored horse. It seems as though we were able to uh, send off the... Uh, the enemy cavalry. Seems that they scared off one of my cannon crews though. Let's see if we can order the line infantry to fire in volleys. Let's see how I did that. <coughs> Attack orders. Volley fire. Yeah, I think we I think we've given them the order to qualify now. And the uh, Oh, look at that. There's an eagle. Uh, I'll just order the the light fusiliers. I can't see the There we go. That's a flag. I'll order them a bit closer. We need to capture that flag. And set the company keeps falling firing. See, there we go. Good volley fire. See, I saw there. There it is. I'll ride out in the middle of the battle and pick up a French eagle. I think we had one up here as well somewhere. Holy sh crap! We got a saber there, but I think I I saw one of them. Ah, French fusilier. Grenadier Eagle. We'll go ahead and drop the pistol and pick up the Eagle. So now I got two of them. This will give good experience points. No! I've already got so many bloody flags, but we can't let the uh, the English flag fall, so I've got the only thing I've got in my inventory is flags at this point. Come back here, you bastard! The regimental flag is giving way. We must order the light infantry to close in on the French. Light fusiliers, advance and center company on me right now.
holy sh when you hear that volley from Santa Company. Kadoom. Okay, light light company. Make ready present. And I will order you to advance on the enemy. Kaboom. Let's see if we yeah, let's have um, the light company as well firing volleys. We'll tell them to fire at will first. Then I'll give the order for them to uh, fire in volleys. Light company! Fire! Light company! I want you to uh, volley fire. Oh, we got some cavalry coming in over there. Kaboom! Let's see if the uh, light infantry. Oh crap! They were they're being assaulted by um, another French wave. I'll call them back a bit. Most of that French wave has been sent off, and now we got most of them coming down there. So what we'll do is we'll tell the center company to move up and be the flank while the light company holds uh, the center there. As we uh, retreat a bit and try to hold the line. Someone shoot that man. For God's sake, I'm, I'm so full of flags that I can't do anything. Someone shoot that man! Oof. Oi, oi, oi. It's probably better maybe to have the light company fire and will... Oh, there they go. Now they got rid of him. The problem now is they're all over the place. This is spread. All of my men for some reason have spread all over the field of battle because of the uh, the volley fire order since the musketeers seem to be so all over the place ooh that was nice uh, musketeers use melee weapon musketeers charge oh look they're, they're actually like uh, charging bayonets as they advance quite a lot of them keep going charge bayonets charge bayonets It would be good though if they could actually uh, stab them properly. All of them just charging at that one guy. Okay, light company. Fired will. Get rid of that guy. The melee fighting is so derpy. If that cannonball had la landed in the middle of all of it. Okay, this is... I mean, it looks pretty cool when they come running with the bayonets like that, but... It would be nice if they could actually stab some people as they do it. Oh, Artemis is still alive. In among his men of the center company. Right. We advance over the crest. And uh, we can see the enemy cannons. Let's tell the men to do general advance. And I'll tell the, the center company to start firing at will. 
Oh yeah, they don't have... Um, they still have, let's see, tell everyone to use weapon at will. See how many that stops and reloads or fires. Advance, men, advance! There's only two Frenchies left. One of them running over there, and one at the cannon. Artemis took him, him him down. So now it's only this guy trying to run away, and we've got victory. A victory for England, for the great nation. Rule Britannia! Great Britain will never surrender! During the battle, we had uh, Harold O'Kelly was wounded. We got 32 men killed, 21 wounded, 2 routed, one of which was one of the colours, which we don't like. We can see that. Uh, British foot guard ensign routed. The other one was killed. Allied casualties. Two routed from the cannons, one killed. Enemy casualties, however, number quite a bit more. 133 killed, five wounded, and 97 routed. 97 men routed. I think. I can't remember that I ever routed that many men before, but 97. And not only that, we took the general uh, prisoner. We saved 10 pirates, but no way am I bringing pirates with me. We got the flags. We should be able to head back to the, the military depot and gain quite the reward for this plus I need to uh, stock up on more men I'm not entirely sure why France why most of the armies we came across here in France are so low on manpower we faced Napoleon, he had 500 men at least but I think that last time um, I played for a lot longer, so um, the the sort of the AI ah the Austrians have declared war and are going to aid us in our war against France. I think that uh, I played for a lot longer, and then the AI had a longer time to build up their strength, get more renown, and so on. Hey there, Picton. Did you hear about my battle? And you did not really. I guess he doesn't like me that much. Since he didn't favor me for this. But let's see if we can't. Uh, I've taken an enemy standard. We got 18 for that. And I've taken another. Got another 18. I believe my deeds. Let's see about that. I am now a colonel. Let's see if I can rise even further. I would like to purchase this commission. Wait, let's see. What did he say? Um, a commission. You must be well off indeed. A simple rank of lieutenant demands. You know what? I've already got... I am colonel now, which means I'm in command of an entire regiment. Which means that I should see about adding a third company to my lineup with which would be a grenadier company so we would have uh, line infantry or the center company we would have the light company and we would have uh, the grenadier company was ever be gonna be charge of that certainly not you I probably put the famous Yorkshire cat instead in charge of it rather than you don't look so bloody sad you know what I'm talking about. 
Right. I think we'll head off to uh, newer and better things, shall we? Let's see, how many men, more men could I get? Well, I had that increased my by 20. So if we have 200, say we have 200, I'll be able to maybe rank up one point and uh, we'll be able to put, um, put, what's it called? Oh, you actually gained a rank. 200. Then we could have, yeah quite a bit of troops but I would probably like a bit more to have three companies your thing is really shooting so agility which will gain weapon mastery which I can put more points in your musketry skill so you can uh, be able to be a really good a crack shot as it were very good your morale is Quite good, 93. So you're not completely happy. How's how's the how the 93? They're all at 93, I guess. Then 93. Um, probably wish they were a bit higher, but yeah. Let's go ahead and see if I can recruit some men off camera, and uh, yeah, let's see see what uh, we can do next. And there we are! The entire regiment is assembled. Off to the right, we've got the Grenadiers. In the center, we've got the center company infantry. And off to the left, we've got the light infantry. However, they're actually um, in the wrong order because the Grenadier is supposed to be on the right. I realized, uh, not from the angle we're looking now, but from sort of their angle, the Grenadiers should be formed on the right and the Light Infantry should be formed on the left. Um, but there we have it, It's uh, I managed to actually rank up because I didn't have that much more, so I went and did a small battle um, against one of those 50-man armies. And I was enough to rank up, so we got to um, 200 men, which you can see right now. And uh, the one man I found that I put in charge of the Grenadier is right there. Danny Donnell. Uh, I had a few others, but I didn't... Uh, we have the Jebediah Moss and... Uh, what is the other one? Sulim Suleiman or something like that. So uh, I felt that out of the th three that I had, um, Danny will be best. And then we also have somewhere out there we have Sharp. Um, and later on, once I get towards uh, higher commands beyond Colonel, um, we should be able to add cavalry. And uh, 95th Rifles, Scotsmen and so on. So uh, we'll break the regiment up. But for now, now I'm Colonel of the... Um, I, I can't remember what regiment it was. Well, the light ones were... They started off as the um, 43rd. But now they're all guards. So I am guess I'm actually in command of um, the Coldstream Guards, I think this is supposed to be. Uh, possibly, I'm not entirely sure. So I would be the Colonel of the Coldstream Guards. Oh, come on, line. Um, anyways, let's uh, hope to progress to uh, bigger and better things. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.